Good evening, I'm Alex Stierkman. The Monroe County School Superintendent has announced plans to create a diversity committee to attract people of various races. The move comes after the district received criticism for hiring a white man as the principal of Tri-North Middle School over a black woman. Former Monroe County Judge Viola Taliaferro says district leaders passed up an opportunity to hire a highly qualified educator and add diversity to the school system. You know, if you're gonna do it, you have to do it right. And that means you've got to be committed to it and do what it takes to bring about diversity. You can't get it accomplished by talking about it. But school board member Sue Wan Wanzer has been on the board for 13 years and says this is the first time a superintendent has made a commitment to increasing diversity. We committed to each other that we're going to hold the superintendent's feet to the fire. We're going to make sure this has happened. I've been on the school board 13 years, and we've talked about this. This is the first time a superintendent ever said, we will do it. Neither of the two candidates for the job returned phone calls for comment. Small business owners in, who gathered in Bloomington today say state officials are not doing enough to understand their needs. As WTIE's William Bray reports, the meeting was one of 22 town halls legislators are holding across the state. The handful of small business owners that gathered at the Monroe County Public Library say better communication is needed between the state and small business owners. They say state regulations don't often benefit their businesses, and once legislators pass laws, they often don't take the time to clearly explain them to the business owners they affect. I think that they've really made an effort to listen um, to us, and um, I'm going to keep in touch with them, and, and hopefully um, we, we keep these issues uh, alive because they are affecting real people's livelihoods. The state's newly formed Small Business Caucus is hosting these meetings and plans to meet in January to talk about what actions need to be taken. Each community is unique and today we heard from a, a wide variety of small business people in the local community uh, sharing their experiences and dealing with government, uh, both state and local, um, and it was very helpful to us to hear that kind of feedback. Business owners brought up a wide range of other issues including the strain unemployment taxes puts on their budgets and the difficulty of finding and retaining qualified employees. For WTIU News, I'm William Bray. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with 91 degrees as the high.